This is the computer website which has generated the world's biggest criminal investigation. And you could see Thomas Reedy's banner that said, for child porn, click here. You know, that was crystal clear. He had a banner, click here, child porn, on his home page. And when you click that banner, that's what you got, child porn. Almost 250,000 people in 60 countries have paid to view horrific images of child abuse like these. Nearly 6,000 of them live in Britain. There is no hiding place here. If you engaged in that particular uh, website, then you will be getting a knock on the door from a law enforcement agency. I mean, it was mind-blowing. Nobody was prepared for those kinds of numbers. The Landslide Productions case has sparked the largest paedophile operation in Britain, targeting people from all walks of life. Doctors, nurses, teachers, social workers, politicians, musicians, and many more face social disgrace and the prospect of imprisonment. Two police officers have been charged... British police have even investigated 50 of their own officers. Police were standing by as PC Anthony Goodrich, with his hands over his face, arrived in... U.S. law enforcement officials were the first to find the landslide company website. The name of the site seemed innocent enough. Its contents were not. The landslide files they found have been given to this program. We had people who had military addresses. We had uh, people who had government addresses. And obviously, we could see by some of the addresses we had people in uh, you know, foreign countries. Crouched in the back of a Mercedes, Pete Townsend was released at around midnight. He was bailed from Twickenham Police Station after being questioned for an hour and 20 minutes. We realized that we had really opened up Pandora's box. This is the image of Thomas Reedy the errant American computer genius whose internet crimes have got so many people into trouble. The failed high school graduate and former nurse taught himself the computer. The internet company he began with his mother's money ran adult porn but struggled until it offered access to child porn. He became an overnight millionaire. His child abuse site swamped with a quarter of a million customers usually paying $30 a fix. He was the net's first mass trader of kiddie porn, but has now joined another select club, that of criminals sentenced to more than a thousand years in jail. We have the inside account of the affair that brought him down, including access to his own diaries and letters.